Hello everyone and welcome to batch 201 in my Harvest Right freeze dryer. This was a batch of chicken. All white meat chicken because we eat the dark meat because we don't like the white meat. But anyway, um, here are the notes for that. I started this batch on the 12th of December. I had two and a half pounds times four tray of cooked white meat chicken. Two trays were rotisseries and two were canned. Over here, I don't always do this, and um, but over here I did. That was approximately 10 cans of uh, chicken, which was the, some were more, some were less, but they average about $2 a can. And so that was about $20. And my rotisserie chickens, if you recall one of my previous um, stock up videos, if I bought 10 nor rice sides for a buck a piece, I got a free rotisserie chicken. So my rotisserie chickens that I did, we, like I said, ate the thighs and legs, we made some chicken salad and the rest we uh, freeze dried. So that was two trays. And the freeze dryer ran for 88 and a half hours and 41 hours of that was added time. I would have actually gotten it out in a timely manner, but there was a little tiny illness in the family. So I had to watch my grandson overnight. And then when he's here, we just do other things and go places. And I just don't feel like dragging all this stuff out. Uh, sometimes I do, but anyway, um, so of that, that would have been 47 and a half hours. However, the freeze dryer also stopped overnight because I forgot to check it. And when I got to it, it was cold and I averaged back the time and it was approximately seven and a half hours that it was off. So this chicken should have taken only 40 hours in the freeze dryer. And my electricity bill is fine. Thank you for your concern. I have never run actual tests to see how much it costs me to run, but I do think someone here on YouTube has done that. They've actually figured the cost of doing their uh, running their freeze dryer. One of the reasons it's not so concerning to me is because uh, I have to do it at my convenience and that I do it at my convenience. I mean, we pay for convenience all the time. So I always like doing our own foods anyway because I know what's in it, especially when I do my soup recipes. Like some of the Progresso soups that I'm going to be freeze drying here shortly to get them out of the cans, they have hydrolyzed something or other in it. And I normally don't eat those. I, I bought them because they were on sale. They're vegetarian soups and my daughter eats them. So if um, I need to supply them with food, I want her to be familiar with uh, what I'm serving. So uh, this is what the chunked cans of chicken looks like. It stays in a chunk, yet it's easily broken apart uh, simply because it's totally dry. And this is what the whole chicken looks like. Again, it stays chunked, but it breaks up very easily. Since each tray has two and a half pounds, I'm making different sizes here. I'm going to do, for each tray, I'm going to do two one-pound packages, and I'm going to do two half-pound packages. One, wait, yeah, you get that, right? Two one-pound, one, one half-pound per tray. So that's what I'll end up with is 12 packages. And here's an interesting little note. Uh, this is how I figure things out to make sure it's accurate. Uh, when I weighed one tray of the rotisserie chicken, it weighed 1,028 grams. I take off 686 grams for the weight of the tray. So two and a half pounds of chicken actually freeze dries down to only 342 or 339 grams. Divide those grams by five. Why? Because two and a half pounds equals five half pounds. So that gives me 
68.4 grams equals 0.5 pounds, or 67.8 grams equals 0.5 pounds. Now that's of the rotisserie chicken. It's pretty interesting though that even though it was two and a half pounds of canned chicken after it was drained, it may have actually had a lot more moisture still inside that chicken than I thought, uh, even though I kind of squeezed out the moisture. And those ended up being 292 grams and 290 grams. Do the same division by five, and I come up with 58 grams equals a, a half a pound and 58.4 grams is a half a pound. And I do that because I'm not just throwing everything in one bag. So if I end up saying, here's a pound of chicken for you, here's a pound of chicken for you, I don't have to wonder if somebody actually got less and somebody got more. That's just how, <laughs> that's just how I work it. So that's it. That was batch 100, oh, excuse me, 201 in the freeze dryer, and it was 10 pounds of chicken. And if you recall, on that last video I did, I don't know if you didn't see it, it might be worth a look, I had taken um, cans of chicken, and I rated my cans of chicken. And if you've seen this part, or this past video, you could just skip that. Uh, but every can of chicken was 12 and a half ounces, and I did four brands. Uh, the brand from Aldi was $1.99, the Big Lots brand of Kreider, I think it's their personal brand, it may not be, was $1.75. The Swanson, I also purchased that at Big Lots, was $2.75, and Great Values brand, they had a, it was only $1.88 a can in a four pack, I believe that was. And that was actually cheaper than the Sam's Club brand, which you know it's the same chicken, just with a different label. So drained, the chicken also weighed uh, differently. So in a 12 ounce, 12 and a half ounce can of chicken um, with the Aldi brand, you get seven and a half or a little over seven ounces of actual chicken. But in the Kreider brand, you're getting less than seven ounces of chicken. In the Swanson, I'd say you're getting a little over seven on average. And in the Great Value brand, you're getting almost eight ounces of chicken. And honestly, um, it it tasted really, really good. I liked that taste. I think the Aldi smelled best. But then I ranked them according to, and of course I even ranked the taste. But um, of course that's very subjective. And then so when I, ha when I go to buy chicken again, I'm actually gonna buy the Great Value brand or I may go to the Aldi brand. But the Swanson, I wasn't that impressed with it. And because of the price, I would stick with something um, less, but I wouldn't go back to that Kreider brand uh, uh, from Big Lots at all. So uh, we're gonna do a taste test online. I mean, on camera, except you won't see Sammy because he's camera shy. And he's just gonna try this little, right here, this little piece of chicken. He wanted more before and I wouldn't let him have any whatsoever. But I broke him off this little piece of chicken from the uh, rotisserie chicken. And here he goes. Let it melt in your mouth. It's not even big enough for a mouse. It's not big enough for a mouse, he said. But that's okay. You just need the taste of it. Do you seriously need a bigger taste to tell me how of good? Are you kidding? You know you're taking away from our future if you eat more of this chicken. That's okay. Hold on. Oh, crap. Did that move? Oh, I hope it didn't change. So, now let's see if he's astounded by my generosity. He gets this now. Here you go. Two mouse pieces. Two mice. So what? Eat it. You're three mice now. You ate enough for three. And you better hope my camera didn't switch angles here, because I did like this. Chicken. Tastes like chicken. Don't be a smart aleck. Come over here and try the canned chicken. So was it good chicken? You have to like. Tastes like chicken. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna here. So now. That's a piece. No, you're not getting a chunk. So now I'm gonna let him try that. 
I don't like to share this uh, too much because we're not rehydrating it. This is for his lunch and our camping trips. And of course, you know what else. How is that? Which one do you like better? That one tastes more like chicken than that one. What does this one taste like? Does it taste like chicken? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Well, see, those other ones are rotisserie and these are canned. So he liked, definitely liked the rotisserie chicken better. And I could let the dogs try them, but I don't think I'm going to do that because they would not stop. No, but no, that's I it. No, stop. That's batch 201 in the freeze dryer. A shitload of, ch I mean, a whole load of chicken. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. And you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. What did you prep today?